Hi there. Hey, so I have my uh, friend and student Jerry Toomey here from um, uh, Pompano, Florida, and he came by as, as part of the Five to Survive bonuses. You get um, skill refinement sessions, you get follow ups, and we're going through that. And he brought uh, uh, his canes, and he's got his heavy training cane here, which is what we recommend so that you develop your forms, your wrists, and, and your, uh, your striking power. And then he brought this really beautiful octagonal triple gripper which is uh, customized and um, he's got his name on there and the engravings and everything else and that would serve as a street cane and then there's a third type of cane that you really want to think about if you are um, once once you have your training down and you're training with a partner this is the padded drone cane Okay, and there's two degrees of padding. So we even make one for juniors, which is a little bit softer than this. Now, as I've pointed out um, in the past, this is not going to kill you. It's not going to break bones, but you're going to feel it and your partner will feel it. So we recommend that your partner wear as much padding as they feel comfortable with. But if you're, once you start moving into shark tank drills, right, and that 5-2S course, for instance, uh, he's going to be coming in, even if it's just Frankenstein, and you want to do that, see, uh, if you're using a, a metal cane or you're using a wood cane, uh, you're, you know, that's going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a mark. So um, that's the value of training with this tool. Again, it's not to hang around in the street with. You're not certainly not going to use this to defend yourself. It is a training tool that will allow you to safely make contact bring up the level of reality in your training and, and still have a training partner come back and train some more because the other options are going to leave a mark.